You see, most people don't think about how much knowledge improves their life today. We encourage our students in the world to become as educated as possible, but we rarely relate it to the facts of life. We rarely relate, relate it to the values it plays for them across their lifetime. We rarely relate it to the fact that marketing technologies, all kinds of technologies, all kinds of sciences, all kinds of industries, all kinds of medications, all kinds of pharmaceuticals, all kinds of things that might be invaluable to a young college student trying to study those things in microbiology and other what, things and whatnot, has a value to their lifetime. But most importantly, a person's time has a value. And when I make a video for someone and I take the time to do it, and then I express to some woman how much it took and what the value was to her, she almost always behaves insulted. And I just can't believe that. I'm somewhat marveled by that. And maybe we raise women to think that life is free and that services should be free. I'm certainly a man who values the fact that some services are free in the world, that we have free Wi-Fi and we have a present who's now talking about how people should have a good cost-effective broadband for their home to be in life. Where do you think they might have gotten that ideology? And where do you think a marvelous president of the United States might have gotten the concept of putting the White House graphic on the end of every video? Where do you think they might have gotten that from? Anyone following a man's Twitter might know that today. But openly, how do you think a president decided to start to do videos about his situation? And while he might not be using the special marketing formula that we've been using pretty much for years, and it only changes every little bit with a call to action at the end, which he's not really doing other than saying, come to my website, which is a call to action. How the motherfuck do you think that was expressed to someone? Could it possibly have been from someone so loyal to their campaign that they literally were a part of it from the beginning, encouraging them to decide who really wants to be president, who really has a shot at winning over Trump, and who really could possibly pull it off because of their seasoning and their experience. You see, even a small, humble, homeless traveling man might be able to impress upon a huge man who makes a hundred thousand plus salary as an employee but already has twelve million in the bank from whatever he did in his own life to do something different today.